Hello everyone, it is Daniela from The Scientist here and today we are going to be learning all about clouds. So before we begin, stop. Go outside, look up at the sky, tell me what you see. You see the sun? The blue sky? How about the clouds? Are the clouds forming shapes like frogs or cars or even people? And what kind of clouds are they? Chances are you're probably a bit unfamiliar with the concept of naming clouds. I mean, I know I was. However, clouds are all around us. They're so interesting to learn about and they're quite easy to understand. So follow me as we journey up into the sky and into the land of clouds. So what exactly are clouds? Well, clouds are made of condensed, tiny water droplets or ice crystals. They're formed as warm air rises in the atmosphere and cools down. Warm air is actually what keeps the clouds floating in the air. And finally, clouds can sit on different levels of the sky, and they're usually described by the elevation which they form. So let's go over the four levels of elevation that you might be able to see a cloud. The highest level clouds form above 20,000 feet. Since they're so high up, it's usually pretty cold, which means they're usually made of ice crystals. Also on this level, clouds usually have a name starting with Cirro or Cirrus. The next level a cloud may be seen on is the middle level, where clouds usually have the prefix alto in their name. These clouds form between 6,500 and 20,000 feet, and they can be made of both water droplets and ice crystals. Next, we have the low level, which describes clouds below 6,500 feet. In contrast to high level clouds, the low level is usually made of water droplets. These clouds have stratus in their name. And finally, vertical level clouds. These clouds are usually tall and span throughout the other three main levels. These clouds usually have the word cumulus in their name. So now that we've covered each level of clouds, let's move on to the 10 main types of clouds. On the highest level, we have the cirrus, cirrocumulus, and cirrostratus clouds. The cirrus clouds are thin and wispy, and they appear during good weather. Cirrocumulus clouds look like tiny cotton balls and they're usually bunched up together. And finally, cirrostratus clouds are high, flat, overclass clouds, overcast clouds <laughs> that appear when it may rain within the next day or two. On the mid-level, we have altostratus, altocumulus, and nimbostratus clouds. Altostratus clouds are dark gray and they're usually a sign of rain in the coming day. Altocumulus clouds, on the other hand, are small, white, and puffy. Nimbostratus clouds are thick and dark gray. They appear when it's going to rain or snow. On the low level of clouds, there are the stratus and stratocumulus clouds. Stratus clouds are flat and cover lots of sky. They're usually light gray and they appear when it's going to drizzle. Stratocumulus clouds are puffy gray clouds which appear if it's going to rain a little. However, these clouds can often turn into nimbostratus clouds. And finally, the vertical level of clouds. On this level, we have cumulus and cumulonimbus clouds. Cumulus clouds are big, white, and puffy. They're a sign of good weather, and they can sometimes grow into a cumulonimbus cloud. Cumulonimbus clouds are very tall. They go from the low level all the way to the top level. These clouds are not as relaxing as cumulus clouds for they can cause large, heavy thunderstorms and even tornadoes. And there you have it. That was a basic overview of clouds. If you're interested in learning more about clouds, be sure to check out the Dexters.com article on clouds because they have a ton of interesting information. Also, if you're interesting in the interested in the world of STEM, be sure to check out the Miss Scientist channel for a ton of educational and fun videos. So that's all for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Miss Scientist channel for more. This is Danielle from Miss Scientist channel, wishing you a great day full of cumulus clouds. Bye.